where I always remind you. Anyway, so I know you can't see uh, some of this, so I'll just read it to you anyway. This comes from uh, Black Enterprise. So it's the, it's the Black magazine, y'all, okay? It's the Black magazine. So Black Enterprise, the title over here says, Blacks for Trump. Trump expected to pull more black votes than any other Republican candidate in history. Mm-mm-mm. Ebony Williams is going to come find y'all. Stacey Abrams is going to come find y'all. Jamel Hill, uh, Angela Rye, the, the mother two people on that podcast, Charlemagne the God, maybe. Mm, mm, mm. What in the world is going on? You blacks, you colors, you know, daggone well, you're supposed to vote, uh, vote Democrat. You do anything different, then that means you probably just like me, a white supremacist talking, white supremacist talking points. How dare you? How dare you vote for Trump? You know he's a racist. You cannot vote for Trump. You know he's a racist. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. The racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. I told you to do Biden. Now we done lost a damn vote. We done lost a vote. That's gonna go to Trump. God damn. I'm worshiping these people right here. God. Ain't nobody worshiping them, but <laughs> God damn it, Chris, we need somebody in there with mother sense. Mm. You heard what she said. We need somebody up there in MF and sense. All right. So y'all are acting up. You Negroes, you colors, you starting to act up now. You know, you not supposed to be thinking for your damn selves, and making your own decisions. You're supposed to go along with what, what was her name? Ebony K says. Because her friend got her daggone student loans paid. So y'all better go ahead and vote for Biden. Don't, don't y'all remember uh, Jason Lee, Hollywood Unlocked. Kamala has done so much. I don't know why you all don't like Kamala. Kamala has done so much for black people. You guys are crazy. She was at the 50th hip hop and you all were upset because she was dancing. Oh my God. Child. Y'all already know it's going to be more uh, struggle between black people than it's ever been before with this tag on election. OK, anyway, so the caption says after four years, Donald Trump is making a comeback bid for the presidency, gaining substantial support from black voters with polls showing him holding between 14 to 30 percent of the black vote, a significant increase from 2020. Uh oh. Despite historical trends of black voters leading toward Democratic candidates, Trump's rising support poses a challenge for President Biden, whose approval ratings among black voters are slipping. Biden's campaign aims to counter this by investing early and aggressively in engaging with black communities, acknowledging the importance of their support for the upcoming election 2024, y'all. Yeah. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. So I have a feeling that Biden will start showing up in some black churches, y'all. <laughs> He'll be down in the South, okay? Atlanta, shout out to y'all, and, and uh, South Carolina, and wherever the hell else you go down there to get the blacks on board, okay? They're going to be trying to get everybody. You don't need this or that. Just come on down. We'll take your vote, child. You can, I can hear it and see it now. We shall see what happens. But then this means, because of this, that the rhetoric from the pros is going to get even worse and worse and worse as well. So I know we already expected it, but it's just it, I'm just trying to make sure we stay on top of it. I'm telling you, it's about to come to a head, y'all, all right? And if you go and, and Trump gets into office and, and something happens, they're going to turn around and you know who they are going to blame. So, gentlemen, get your ish together. You know what it is. Crust, dust, must, rust, ashy bums. It's going to be all Jermaine's fault. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. So let's just make sure that we keep on top of it, child. Mm, mm, mm. Let me just read a couple of comments. So I feel like these comments are going to be different than what we see like on blogs and stuff, right? Because you probably, you know, probably was a reader and interested in economics and stuff like that if you're on this page, right? I don't even know how this came up by, by me on Instagram. So uh, first comment says, uh, 
Black people are realizing that voting Democratic hasn't gotten us much. Next comment says, hashtag Donald Trump, hashtag Trump, hashtag Black voters, hashtag Democrats, hashtag Biden, hashtag 2024 election. Next one says, and these are mostly men that are speaking, uh, Trump has done more for Black people than both parties and other Black people, but y'all ain't ready for that talk. I get tired of people saying that type stuff. Just say what you got to say, shit. Um, This one says, Black women are not voting Republican. We will save democracy once again. (laughs) Ah, Black women. Shout out to YouTube. I'm a black woman. Y'all already knew this was coming, right? (laughs) That's a black woman that said that, okay? So they already are mobilizing, as we've seen with Ebony K and Angela and Jamel, right? And they're going to get get you on board. Like Tiffany Cross said, you Tariq, Nasheed, Kevin Samuels following men, get on board behind black women and do what needs to be done. Don't be thinking for yourself. Don't be making, don't be making your own decisions. You're supposed to listen to black women just like this one. I told you to do Biden. Tell we done lost a damn vote. We done lost a vote. That's gonna go to Trump. God damn. I worship these people right here. God. Ain't nobody worshiping them. But God damn it, Chris. We need somebody in there with mother sense. Mm. That's what they're going to be saying to y'all. Y'all, mm-mm-mm. get ready, child. Get ready, child. Child, she got a lot of uh, uh, comments under that. I ain't going into it. I was just a few more than we're moving on. Um, Russell says, no, he's not. Who's running this page? Trump himself? First off, there's literally no data to support this theory at all. Second, why is Black Enterprise posting a political opinion piece? Third, Journalism 101 is having a source. Where is any of that? Lastly, readers rely on Black Enterprise to share facts. This post is reckless and misleading. Woo, Lord, Lord, Lord. (laughs) It's infighting with you coloreds. What is going on? Mm, mm, mm. Next one says, as a Black educated woman, that will be a no for us. Next. That's right. They flexing y'all. That last that last person was a dude, but this person was a woman who said that. This one says, any Black person voting for Trump is brainwashed and lost in the sauce. Y'all are brainwashed and you're lost in the sauce, damn it. Lost in the sauce, child. For those same Black voters haven't gotten much voting Democratic, let me ask you, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security are all Democratic programs. Student loan relief is a Democratic program. Early childhood education is a Democratic program. What do you think you'll get from voting Republican? When has when has a Republican tax cut benefited Black people who weren't very rich? Republicans want to cut education funding. How does that benefit Black people? I swear logic is lacking out here. Whoa. <laughs> mm, you ninjas. You ninjas. You don't know. You don't know. So we're just going to... I've I've seen uh, plenty of play. Actually, I just saw. I forget what it was. I'm usually looking at the New York Times, usually the New York Times or not blogs, child, not blogs. When I see information that matters, actually at my job, I get financial news every single day at my job. So it could be Reuters, it could be uh, I don't know, it could be anything. But they're verifiable sources because the job is sending it to me, and they're not going to send me like blog posts. And they're already saying that. Uh, Biden, it has the lowest approval rating, uh, as bad as Jimmy Carter. And we all know that Jimmy Carter, well, Jimmy Carter was a one-term president and a lot of people were not happy with him to get that ass on a body there. Okay. So if he's that low, that's a problem. But isn't it funny though, listening to this and then listening to everything that we have listened to with regard to high prices, the gas prices, the food, I can't eat, I can't live, the rent's too much, the homelessness, the, all these problems, right? All these issues. It's not right. It's not fair. My student loans, but blah, 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 blah. That's everybody, not just you colors. That's everybody. Okay. And yet when it's time right damn now to go ahead and think about doing something differently, because trust me, if they're doing it on the big stage like this, they're doing the same thing on the uh, their local level, because we know that at the end of the day, local level is more important. Um, but at the local level, guarantee you, if they're saying that up here, that they're saying it there too. All right. Um, but 
these are the same people that tell you about how you're uh how you're brainwashed and you don't think for yourself and you don't know what you're doing and you the sheep, like all these things that people be throwing out there. Child, good luck to you, Negroes, okay? F- particularly your men, you men, because if Donald Trump wins, you know they're coming to blame your ass. I'm, you've been warned, so figure out how you're going to deal with it. I already know. Y'all already know, too. I think it's very interesting, child, and we're going to get more into it, of course. But that's the update politically for right now. So let us get into some nice crime. We do not care. 